Hello again, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be an edition of Cards and a Cat. Not sure how long the cat will be here, maybe the whole time. Could be interesting. Anyway, uh, we're always on the hunt for some really, really cool cards and I uh, hope that we pull them. Um, some monsters, monsters lurking would be nice. Anyway, as I always like to say, one, sorry, as I always like to say, burp. <laughs> as I always like to say, one back away from greatness and uh, open in the packs anyway so let's pull some monster cards some monster cards we have two cats one cat just woke up from a nap the other one's on the table in front of me so things could get interesting because uh, oftentimes there is fighting so there is a Corey Crawford Team Canada of Jeff Class a Jason Barbarella Future Star card and a Roger so that was a whole bunch of whatevers. Be closed! Uh, we got Topps Laser Baseball. It's going to be all over the place. Um, going to be all over the place. Anyway, still looking to live the intergalactic dream. Still hoping to uh, win the lottery and or get a movie deal. Not and or, actually. We're looking for to win the lottery and get a movie deal. Why not both? Sean Green and a Travis... For Ryman. So, um, interesting looking cards. Nothing spectacular in there. Press Pass 2008. Uh, Matt Ryan rookie card autograph. Possibly. Dot, dot, dot. So, we do have a Darren McFadden. Chad Henney. Jonathan Stewart. And a Dennis Dixon. So, some familiar, some familiar players. Um, familiar, f familiar, bah, bah, bah. Anyway, familiar players. There. Uh, got another one of these. Uh, got another one of these. Press pass. I think it's only the autographs that have any value whatsoever. I believe. It's a random uh, Jordy Nelson, Darren McFadden, a Woodson, and then uh, that's a whole bunch of nothing. I mean, some names. Uh, Top's debut, two thousand and two. I think Drew Brees, maybe. I think Palomalu. I say that dot 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 question mark. Got a Feeny Claus. Anyway, there is a Heinz Ward. Um, is that considered? That is not a rookie card. I don't think there is a Joe Horn, a Kevin Dyson, a Mazeroque, and a Rod Gardner. So. Whole bunch of whatever's mixed levers on that one. All right, we got some more food bowl. 95 Skybox Premium. Some of these packs I only bought just because uh, I'd never seen the cards before, and I thought, let's see. But also, if I'm going to buy them, might as well uh, pull some cool stuff. You know what I'm saying? So there is a Johnny Johnson. Uh, man, there's a lot of random stuff going on in this card. A lot of stuff. Sean Gilbert. Horace, rookie card of Kyle Brady, some uh, Emmett Smith action there, a mirror image of uh, Natron Means, Andre Risen, and then a Anthony Miller. So the cards are just too many different, and they're just like a whole bunch of different colors, a whole bunch of different schemes. It's like, oh, that's actually two cards. So that is a... Uh, Roddy Hampton. All right, so can't say I like that set. I like the pack. I like the pack better than I like that. So Pinnacle Summit. I think I've opened it. I believe. Is this the one? Mm, no, I don't. Uh, maybe I was a different year. I opened it. All right, a Michael Westbrook, Garrison Hurst. So some names I'm familiar with. Chris Sanders, Alvin Harper. Trying to navigate around the old cat. Antonio Freeman. A Mike Allstott rookie card. Eric Metcalf. And then that is the end of the pack. So, I'm not sure that Mike Allstott uh, moves the needle very much. Got some uh, hockey here. 96-97. Gretzky and Lemieux, I believe, were active then. Oh, they, they definitely were active. What are we talking about? Um, Joe Thornton, rookie, maybe? Maybe? 
So we have a Jeff Friesen, a Brett Hall, so there's a good name. There's a Mario Lemieux, and the cool names, a Freezer of Jocelyn Tebow. So an insert card there, um, just an insert card. I'll sleeve it up anyway. You know what? Let me sleeve up some stuff. I got, they're called penny sleeves for a reason, kids. I know, shocking that they're called penny sleeves. Um, don't be stingy on the old penny sleeves, is it? you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Besides, the cat does not care at all. The cat will just, um, anyway. I don't know if you know this. Cats do not care a hoot about cards at all. They're just like, whatever. Right, so let's just sleeve a little bit. Just in case. All right. So we had uh, Jeff Friesen, Brian Leach, and a Keith Primo. So anyway, that was that pack. Uh, Tebow brings back not some great memories because he came over part of the uh, the Patrick Waugh trade that should not have happened. Should not have happened. Still can't believe it all these years later. All these years later. Carl Pavano. McCracken, Jose Offerman, Tim Hudson, Mark Grace, Hampton, Kalesko, Maponson. Um, I'm still waiting for the focus pull that's going to be, that's going to take us over the top. I'm still waiting for it. Um, maybe it never comes. It says you can pull autographs like A-Rod. It says you can pull like an A-Rod autograph. All right, we got Showdown 2002. Tom Brady foil action maybe, or... Drew Brees. I know it's a card game, but you know. The first and the goal. All right, so. Terrell McBurrow, David Terrell, James McKnight, Corey Geeson, Vanderjack, Young, and Jordan. So that was, that was not awesome. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like it's awesome if it ain't. All right, football, Fleer, Genuine. As you can tell, I haven't even organized them into uh, sports. Have A, Anthony Thomas, Emmett Smith with the bad corner. I'm not going to sleeve it up because he's got a bad corner. Brunel, Curtis Martin, and Jacquez Green. So that was a whatever pack. Unfortunately, I've noticed there's a lot of whatever packs. Flair, hockey. Sometimes it's not surprising why the uh, card store owner um, is selling these at a discount, at a bulk discount. Um, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right. So that I mean, flair is cool and everything, but uh, nothing remarkable in there. Anyway, yeah. Like sometimes I can tell. <laughs> sometimes I can tell the card shop owner is like, "Wow, you're gonna take those packs off my hand." Thank goodness, I thought I was never going to move them. Ever. I thought they were going to be stuck here forever. I might have to open them myself. So, um, and other times, I was like, yes, victory. Hello. All right. So, uh, we got it, Michael Lee. As you can see, we just pulled a relic. It's a future phenom of Ryan Miller, whose uh, greatest feat was possibly taking the uh, U.S. Olympic team, um, the U.S. Olympic hockey team. Of course, I mean, obviously not like the baseball team. Um, he's a hockey player. But there is a relic of one, um, there is a relic of one, I'm, with the, I'm just distracted because the cat just, Cody McCormick, a, uh, Alan Rourke, Dan Fritch, Mike Boucher, so a ton of rookie cards and none of them are any, anything spectacular. Chloe Bear, thank you for being super cute and delicious. That was so nice of you, honey. I can't tell you how delicious it was. It was so wonderful. It was so, so wonderful. And I loved it. All right. So I, I can put my pile of stuff. Ah, I'm not going to put my pile of stuff. Whatever. I'll deal with it later. I will deal with it later. Ha, ha, ha. All right. Um, okay. We got some Fleer Metal Universe action, which always cool. So it, the cards are cool. Eric Kramer, Frank Sanders. There's a Brett Favre. Hello. We got a... Dudley there, there's a Jerry Rice, Miller, Steve McNair airing it out there. 
So let me sleeve up these uh, some of the star players um, before my stacks here get out of totally out of control. Before the stacks get totally out of control, if you know what I'm saying. Back to the penny sleeving we go. Ah, ah. Okay, so Jerry Rice there. And that is a Dudley. Is that a, that's a rookie. I'm not really familiar with him, though. Gotta be honest. Sometimes I'm a little too honest about cards. Not always about life, but sometimes I'm a little too honest about cards. Okay, so there is that. We can put the... We'll put the relic up here. So, I noticed there's a lot of relics in hockey. There's a lot of relics in hockey. <clears throat> Which is a shame, because the people the people like autographs, man. I don't, I'm, I don't know if you know this. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure you do, because I know it. Um, people like autographs. That's what people want. Andre Risen, Haas Stetler, a Upshaw, Ricky Waters, Narell, Wheatley, we got two Hostetlers in the same pack. And they are definitely the same. Okay, well, whatever. What are you going to do? Couldn't have gotten uh, two Emmett Smiths or two Barry Sanders. You know what's weird? Some of these older packs. <clears throat> it's amazing how difficult it is to get Barry Sanders to show up. I know the football set's going to be massive, but seriously. But seriously. So we got Bobby Taylor... There we go. A Steve Young. That is a common Steve Young. I don't know if it's fair to call Steve Young common. Ty Law and Mathis. So, finest has been uh, difficult. These are all, by the way, I'm checking the corner here, the bottom corner. I hate it when you watch videos and people are like, they're looking at stuff and you're like, I don't even know what you're looking at. 97 leaf. I don't know what you're looking at. Well, they're, they wrote it in really, really small lettering in the in the corner and it's, and it's uh, so that's what I'm looking for. You're looking for rare. There's a common, uncommon, and rare. Ty Detmer. Jeff George. Amani Tumor. Drew Bledsoe checklist. Paraman. The Corey Dillon rookie. Jerome Bettis. Darnell Autry. So we got some rookie cards. Jerome Bettis. Cool. Uh, Corey Dillon, I know. I know. Heard of these people. It's always nice when you've heard of them. Some of these older packs, you're like, what happened? What has happened to my life? All right. Next up, we got, what is this? Uh, Summit. I think we opened Summit from another year. So. No, it was this year. Nope, it was this year. I don't know why I didn't recognize the fact. Frank Sanders with some serious condition. There's a Lawrence Phillips. That's a rookie guard. There's a Herschel Walker. Brett Favre, John Elway, Kevin Green, and a Williams. So, some famous names, but, uh, I don't know. I mean, you're looking at like a fifth year Brett Favre and like whatever, like a tenth year John Elway. So it's uh, pretty sure they probably don't hold a ton of value, but sleeve them up anyway. It's a penny sleeve. All right. Got some uh, Leaf preferred hockey. Uh, pull like the, uh, I was about to say you pull the, uh, the Gretzky one, but, but it is Alexander Mogilny. And. There are 63 of these, by the way. 63. And at Bell 4, there is a Patrick Roy, Roman Hammerlick, Zygmunt Palfi, and a Curtis Brown. So that is that pack leading us to nowhere. We have a James Bond pack. Uh, I think you're looking for autographs, I'm pretty sure. I know, non-sports. We're just doing like random non-sports non entries. Just in the middle of our opening. That was a whole bunch of nothing. That was a whole bunch of nothing. All right, we got some more James Bond. Wouldn't it be crazy if you pulled like a, a, Pier, a, Pier, a Pierce Brosnan autograph? Wouldn't that be bonkers, McNonkers, McSchlonkers? That is your checklist. More checklist. Okay. 
So yeah, that was... Alright, I mean, with the movie cards, I think there's some insert sets or whatever, but you're kind of just hunting for... Uh... You're kind of just hunting for autographs, and I don't. E I didn't even check the pack. Um, I just assumed that you could pull an autograph. Can you imagine getting a Halle Berry autograph? That'd be cool. That'd be cool. The, there's a early Rosamond Pike. Rosamond Pike. That is a upside down card. So that must be an insert set card. Maybe it's super rare. I don't know. I will look it up later. I will look it up later. I will look it up later. All right. On the non-sports edition, we got Planet of the Archives. Planet of the Archives. Planet of the Apes. Uh, Planet of the Archives. That's a good one. Wow, these cards are really, really thin, man. They are really thin. Here it is, the famous, the famous shot. The famous shot. If you haven't seen the movie, I ain't gonna spoil it, even though it came out like 60 years ago. Maybe not 60. It came out a long time ago, though. All right, we got some X2. Maybe a Hugh Jackman autograph, huh? Wouldn't that be pretty cool? Hugh Jackman autograph. It'll be huge. Gray, Patrick Stewart autograph maybe. There's a lot of famous people in that movie, and we didn't get an autograph of anyone. We did not get a relic card either. All right, Tomb Raider, Angelina Jolie autograph. Angelina Jolie. I know I went a little bonkers, mix slonkers, mix snookers, mix smookers, mix snookers, and uh, wow, the non-sports was a. It's looking like buying the non-sports was a huge, huge mistake. A huge mistake. All right, back to baseball we go. See, it says you can get an, an Alex Rodriguez autograph. There's also 48, 48 subjects, 47 other players other than Alex Rodriguez. I have not pulled an autograph at all from the set, so it, it would be awesome. There's AJ Hinch. He's a manager. It would be great to pull an autograph of someone awesome, and not this time. The universe is like, yeah, that would be great, but it ain't happening for you in that pack. Good news, I got another one of the packs. <laughs> Alright, we got at least Stevens. We do have a prospect. Prospect card out of 3,999. So, Nick Johnson. Um, I love it that it's numbered out of almost 4,000. So... There you go. Talk about scarcity, man. Talk about scarcity. There's only 4,000 of them out there. All right, we got, uh, we got another one of those laser packs, 96, which has been a difficult set to pull anything even vaguely. A vaguely good So there is a Pedro Martinez. So that's pretty cool. Pedro Martinez. Pretty neat. Man, these cards are not fun to sleeve up at all. Just, you know, if it's going to be like the all die cut series, that's not fun um, to sleeve it up. All right, so that is a Brian Hunter. And we have a Mike Piazza. I know some people who like Mike Piazza. I know multiple people who think he's cool. All right, and then we got uh, Ray Orr. Donia's and then a checklist. So yeah. 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 Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It sums up a lot so far. At the moment. I mean it's fun opening the old bag, let me tell you. I'm not gonna pretend like it ain't fun, but it's more fun when you pull awesome cards. Everyone knows that. It's more fun for me, but it's also more fun for you. So we do have a Alex Fernandez, Chili Davis, John Olerud, and a Fred McGriff. So that was a stumble of a pack. Um, I love it. Lance over at something old, something new. He said it checks. <laughs> it checks two boxes I don't like. 
die cut and not on card auto. <laughs> oh, that was a fun one. That was an enjoyable one. So we got backwards. Uh, not, not quite sure why that one was backwards. There's a Jeter. Hello, Derek. Hello, Derek Jeter. Hello. Hello, good sir. Hello, good sir. Hmm. I believe that's just the base Jeter, but uh, we'll throw it on over here just in case. Just in case. Uh, Leaf 2002 says shirt off my back, but I believe there's also autographs you can pull. Um, I believe. And it's second year Ichiro, second year Pujols. Wouldn't that be bonkers or make schlonkers? If, uh, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, if I pulled an autograph of one of them, and uh, we didn't even pull an autograph of anyone. We pulled a whole bunch of nothing. All right. A whole bunch of nothing. All right. All right. How about a Ken Griffey Jr. or Derek Jeter autograph out of this pack, huh? How about that? So we do have a die cut of one. Mark McGuire. There's only ten of them in the set. There's only ten of them in the set. So maybe worth a ton? Maybe? We'll put it in the top loader and the old Kevster will find out. Um, I can tell you, if it was a Jeter or a, uh, if it was a Jeter, it would definitely be worth more. It would definitely be worth more. Um, if there was no allegations of cheating with one Derek Jeter. So we got some finest coming your way. There was no allegations of cheating when it came to one Derek Jeter show. And there was, a uh, yeah, we don't have to get into it. You know, if you know, you know. And if you don't know, then I'm not going to tell you. All right. Look up the history of baseball. All right, sensations. We got a Todd Helton. We do have a numbered card, and it is a Barry Bonds out of 424, which seems like a very oh, I was gonna say batting averages. Okay, um, and then we have a Sammy Sosa. So some of the bigger names of the era. One of the bigger names of the era, and so let's look at this Sammy Sosa. Ooh, look at that. That Sammy Sosa is numbered out of 1,500. Yes, please. Shine me up. And then we got a Jeter Refractor. Holy smokes. Look at that, man. Finest has not been great to me in the past. But all of a sudden, all of a sudden. All right, let's get this. So it is a Refractor of one. Derek Jeter. It's weird because one side's the Refractor and the other side's not. So, like, you're trying to get, like, a double Refractor, I think. Anyway, the point is, though, that we have a Derek Jeter, Nomar Garcia Parra, and the Jeter side is refracting. It is refracting. And it, uh, there we go. So there, that's cool. That's a good way to, that's a good way to party. That's a nice way to party. That's a fun party. I like that. I like being invited to that party. That I enjoyed thoroughly. Yash. Yes. One time I got like super excited about something. I was like, yes, this is definitely worth a ton of money. And then I looked it up and it was worth like three dollars. And I was like, out of the top loader you go, good sir. Out of the top loader you go. I will give you no more attention. I shall give you that. <laughs> now that cliff running. Uh we go. Pavel Murray. As a uh, Florida Panther, Jeremy Roenick as... Oh, my God. This is like the wacky... Uh, I can't believe they played for that team kind of pack. But uh, nothing too remarkable. We got traded 2003. We're being traded. We're being traded. All right. These are hobby packs. Maybe we pull an autograph. So that is a uh, bad corner. We got a, a key, Greg Aquino. Got a Robinson Cano rookie card. Robinson Cano rookie card with a not great corner, so that corner is not fantastic. Mm. Josh Willingham. I imagine that Robinson Cano was probably the biggest pull in that entire set. And then bad corner came our way and said screwed up. Uh, all right, Mike New out of 2003. So we got a gold and we got a cat who's just being frisky. Hello, good sir. Can I help you? May I be of assistance in some large or small... Hey, let's not fight, huh? How about we don't fight? 
How about we don't fight, good sir? Hmm? How about we behave ourselves? Wouldn't that be fun? First edition hockey. Wouldn't it be fun if we behaved ourselves? I would enjoy it. That would be fun for me. I know people don't ask what my opinion is about anything, but there's a Dan Blackburn, a monster redemption offer, which is unnecessary. Bill Guerin, up close. Dunham. And that was a whole bunch of nothing mixed slough with slough with powder. Hey, no fighting. We're not going to do fighting. All right. There's like a Mario Lemieux thing that you could possibly get out of this. The Chrome Ruski. Um, Chrome Toberfest. So let's see if we can chrome it up. So, oh, it's not chrome. I keep thinking it's chrome and it's not. Ugh, I don't know why. All right, it's just regular then. Uh, Olin, Reddick, Bonk, Jocelyn, and Thibault. Eliash, Robert Lang. So we got a Manny Fernandez prospect. All right, I remember him. I'll sleep you up, good boy. I don't know why I said good boy. That was just weird. And that was weird. Way to make it weird, Kev. Way to make it weird. All right, we got SPX. SPX autograph, possibly, huh? Oh, my goodness. Wouldn't it be something if we got an autograph? That would be something. There's a really thick card. It better not be a spacer. I'll be really upset. No, it's not. Holy smokes. Oh, my goodness. Do you see this? Do you see it? It is a Ray Bork. Wow. Jersey stick combo. How is that not numbered? How is a jersey stick combo not numbered? How is that possible? All right. Um, I don't even have my thick sleeves on me, so I'll just put it in like a... I'll create... Yeah, I'll, I'm going to have to get like a, whatever you call it. I'll have to get one of those uh, mag, mag, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> now that I've completely destroyed this penny sleeve, look at that. That is something. And Ray Bork is an all-timer. All-timer, kids. Hall of Fame all-timer, we're talking. Benny, no fighting. Sorry, the cat. Oh, hello, look at that. We got a Peter Forsberg. Jersey card. Nice. Peter Forsberg jersey card. So we got a Ray Bork. Next pack. Next pack out of the gate. Next pack out of the gate. Like it. Like it a lot. Dig it. Really dig it. I mean, it would be better if it was an autograph. Don't get me wrong. I know it sounds like I'm complaining, but it's always better when it's an autograph. Everyone knows that. Tommy Sello, Brett Hall. We got a Alexi Yashin. And what is this? This is a numbered card of Mark Rycroft. Hey, cats, are we behaving? Hey, cats, are we behaving? Hey, cats, are we? Are we going to behave? Wouldn't that be cool? Excalibur football. Excalibur football. You have no idea how close things are to just... Jumping off the cliff like the cat. Yeah, so never seen these cards before. Come on, guys. Brian Cox. I remember Brian Cox. There is a Eric Kramer. Is that a Marvin Harrison? It is a Marvin Harrison, and it's a 97. So that'll be a second year Marvin Harrison? Second? Second year Marvin Harrison? And a uh, Dana Stubblefield. Wow, look at the dragon on that. Look at the dragon. That is something. That is wild. That is a wild looking set. All right. All right, we got Skybox Premium. So. They like, they like to throw the name Premium on things. But uh, I'll believe it when I pull a Monster Auto, huh? 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 Well, I've opened this set before. There's a Warren Moon. To the moon! To the moon. All right. There's a Charlie Batch, year two. A Jake Plummer. Hey, buddy. Frank Wycheck, Jamal Anderson, Ty Detmer, Mike Allstott, and a Chris Chandler. Show that. All right, we're going to have to clean things off because the cat is getting a little frisky. Cat's getting a little frisky, and I cannot risk him knocking over potentially valuable cards. Because um, he doesn't... I don't know if you know this. I don't know if you're aware. Cats do not care about cards at all. No fighting! Buddy, no fighting, okay? Please, please, no fighting. 
Please? All right, we got some sweet spot action. Finny, can you just take a nap or something, bud? Oh, my God. Wouldn't it be great to pull a Hall of Fame autograph? Wouldn't it be great? So, it is a Jake Plummer. Eddie George. The world's most unnecessarily thick spacer. Keenan McCardell. And then a numbered card of Brian Thomas, who I'm not terribly familiar with. Finny, can we not do that, buddy? Huh? We're just knocking stuff over and being a, a butt. All right, Bowman's best coming your way. Wow, that is something. All right, we got a Night Killiard. A Isaac Bruce. Peyton Manning. Cool looking Peyton Manning there. Hey, 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 hey. I think it's the second year Peyton Manning. It is so hard to stay focused when you just got cats just like doing like weird. All right, guys. All right. I'm going to have to stop what I'm doing. You're going to make me stop what I'm doing just to like separate here. There's a cool Manning. Um, hey, hey, hey. Come on. No fighting. Let's not do fighting. Brett Favre. All right. The old Kabaruski. There's a rookie card of Andy Katz and Moyer. All right, I'm going to have to stop what I'm doing now and then separate the cats. I know I've been saying that for a minute and a half, or longer than a minute and a half, but uh, let me go do it. All right, Finny, you can't behave, so let's put you down. Let's go figure you out, huh? Huh? Come here. What are we doing, buddy? Come here. Come here. Let's behave. Yeah, you know. You know you're not supposed to attack the biscuit. She's a biscuit. She's a nice lady. All right. She's a nice lady. Look at what you're doing, man. Finny, you're a cool boy, but you know, you gotta learn how to behave. Alright. Well, now that we've, uh, now that we've, uh, I don't know. I don't even know what to say anymore, man. Sometimes, sometimes I just don't know. Whew. Alright. Pete LaForest. Got a Chin Ming Wong. Rookie card there. Chin Ming Wong rookie card. We have a Trent Olchin, not familiar with. Keith Stamler, not familiar with. Obviously, I was, I'm, I'm just a fool. I should know all these people, right? Dustin McGowan, I remember that name. Got an Andy Cisco first year gold. Uh, burping up a storm. And then we got a big old checklist. Prospect card. Oh, look at that, Robin Ventura with the Dodgers and then Gabe Gross, the Blue Jays. Finny, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm up. I apologize. Okay, life is just tough sometimes. What do you want from me? Don't me to go to bed. It's like six thirty at night, man. I want to bed at six thirty? That would be embarrassing for everyone involved. That would be embarrassing. So that was a rookie, by the way, of Herrera, but. Uh, I never heard of the guy, so I apologize, Mr. Herrera, if you are watching. We are looking for an autograph out of this leaf set, by the way. Can you imagine pulling a Pujols autograph out of here or a Jeter? Jeter autograph, Griffey autograph. So, Freddy Garcia, Tino Martinez, Angel Barroa, and A. Milton. So, that was all but nothing. Um, a Bud Smith, Joe Mays. Got a lineage and a Klesko, so that is a leaf lineage of one. Randy Johnson, so there's a cool name for you. Although, even though he's like a Hall of Fame pitcher, um, we never had any controversy around him. I don't know. For some reason, the universe, the card collecting universe, is just kind of like not as excited about him as uh, you think that they would be. They should be. Have you seen him throw the huge? All right, Vizcal, Soriano. The Black Guerrero, and then a Gary Sheffield. So, all right, this is a thicker pack. Maybe it means there's going to be something amazing in here, like an autograph, huh? So we got a Craig Biggio, followed up by a Troy Percival, and look at that! Holy smokes! That is a relic of Barry Larkin. How is that not numbered? 
I mean, look at that. It's a big piece. It's a big piece of it. How is it not numbered? Look at that. Authentic. It's like coming out. It's a. Uh, that is really cool. That is, and there's a regular Barry Larkin. That is neat, man. That is really neat. I'm not saying it should be a one on one, but it looks like it. It looks like it should be really low numbers. I mean, with the, that chunk on there. All right. Uh, got a Piazza, Larry Walker, and a Mike Cameron. Obviously, I'm wrong though because uh, it's not. There's no. There's no serial. Serial numbering whatsoever, but it's still cool, man. And it's a great player. Gray Maddox. Tory Hunter. Ooh, hello. What is this? That is a heading to the hall. What a weird looking insert that is. What a look at all that like look at all that empty space there. That is a wacky looking insert, man, I gotta say. That is uh, very strange. Very strange indeed. Billy Wagner, Mike Lowell, Palmero, and a Pedro Martinez. All right, so we got a top stars coming at you next, 2000. It's been a really hard set. Really hard set for me, but it's, I think there's autographs. There's definitely parallels, like low number parallels, but... Uh, David Cohn, Delgado, Nick Johnson, Ruben Mateo, and a Willie Sturgill. Sturgill! Alright, um, <clears throat> we got some hockey. So basically, there's a chance for, for a Wayne Gretzky autograph card, and that is what you're hunting. Can you imagine pulling a Wayne Gretzky autograph card? Not this time. There's only one card per pack, by the way. It is a Pavel Bure, who, uh, if he's not in the Hall of Fame, he sure should be, because he was amazing. The Russian rocket, Pavel Bure. Got a couple more of these. Let's pull a Wayne Gretzky autograph, and then I'll fall out of my chair. And then I'll fall out of my chair. Again, it's one card per pack, and that one is a Messier. Wouldn't believe how hard it is to get, um, holograms on screen sometimes. Alright, got a couple more of these. They're pretty quick to go through because there's only one card per pack. And it's not going to be Wayne Gretzky Autograph this time because it's a Peter Sikora. I think there's numbered parallels as well. Um, I'll sleeve them all up. Because, you know, you don't want the uh, you don't want the hologram part to just fade. <clears throat> Alright. Wayne Gretzky, please. Autograph. Nope. That is an Eric Daze. Alright, one, oh, three more to go. Three more of this. Um, sleeve them all up, but one of them should be a Wayne Gretzky autograph. No, just uh, I'm not just kidding. What am I talking about? It should be a Wayne Gretzky autograph. And that is a Matt Sundin. I thought it was numbered. It is not. It's just a regular old Sundin. Matt Sundin. I wonder what these went for back in the day. And Alexi Yashin. So a whole bunch of really familiar names, but you know, it's like I said, you're hunting for either like the super low parallel or the Gretzky autograph. <clears throat> Otherwise, it's just base card city. And not the right color. That is a Todd Bertuzzi with the Islander. Islanders. 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 Goodness gracious, Kev. Get it together. So, it was a fun, fun little uh, one card each. Super high risk. Didn't work out. We got, we got a laser football. Done some laser baseball. It's funny. We're just not hitting Barry Sanders at all. He was still playing. Don't get it, man. Get some Brett Favre, though. There is a... Goodness gracious. Stan Humphreys. A Melgrade. Uh, Rodney Pete. And a Ken Norton. Show. No, like, numbered action. Crazy there. Got a Black Label Edge 95. Ooh. 
Where is the black label on this? Yet the label's gold. Klinger, um, Kramer, Trudeau, and Karen. They're super thin cards, too. That's very weird. Thought I thought, you know what? I thought it was going to be a lot different. I, uh, I feel misled now. I feel misled. Which is the worst kind of being led. Being misled is the worst kind of led. Alright. Well, I guess led, you know. There's a Brett Favre. I guess the lead from a gun would be the worst kind of lead. Or lead from, you know, I'm not going to, I'll stop right there. I'll stop. Sometimes you got to stop when you're behind. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes continuing would only be to your own peril. So this is a Century Legend. So obviously we're going to pull a Hall of Fame autograph, right? Hall of Fame autograph, please. You have uh, Troy Aikman, Terrell Owens. A, who's that? A Boston, Barry Sanders, and a, so let me sleep with the Barry Sanders and I'll sleep with the Donovan McNabb. And I think that's his rookie. I think that is his rookie because it's 99 and he's wearing his, uh, his suit like he's, he's just been drafted. So don't know why Donovan McNabb isn't worth more. He was fantastic quarterback. He led his team to the Super Bowl. Um, not quite sure why. Um, he had a long career, too. I mean, he played for, what, 14 years, I think? And it was productive for... It wasn't like he... Anyway. I don't know, man, sometimes. So there's an autograph guaranteed in this pack. It's minor league cards. Um, I don't know, Miguel Cabrera? Pujols, maybe? Or some dude we never heard of. So there's a J.J. Putz. Stone... Barber, offer. So we got a Steve Minus. A Steve Minus autograph out of 7,000. Well, 6,995. Um, Steve Minus, which is a very interesting name, I might say. for a. Uh... So these are round cards. You can get memorabilia. Steve Minus is a very interesting name for what looks like a pitcher. All right. That'd be fun to pull a memorabilia card from this set. What a weird set. Jason Phillips, Adam Everett, Eric Milton, Hinsky, Longs, Tim Salmon, and a Mike Hampton. So that was a whole bunch of whatevers. Got a Philadelphia football set, I believe. Is a repack? I think it might be a repack, repack or Pacific Collection or something. And there's an Andre Reed. All the cards seem to be from like different sets. It's very odd. So there's a Lorenzo Lynch. And they're just all over the place, too, on top of that. Farad, what are we doing here? So there's a Junior Seau, Mandridge, Farad, Ampli. So, yeah, that was a whole bunch of whatever's mixed levers. Uh, Stadium Club, 95. Jeter, maybe? A Rod? I would do the research, but uh, I, I'd rather just open... Un honestly, most of the time, I'd rather open packs and then do the research later. Kirby, Robbie Thompson. That is a Tom Gordon. That is a wacky, wacky checklist. Johnny Ruffin. Ruffin up the competition. There's a Kirby Puckett. Checklist. Terry Steinbeck. Torres. Kevin Stocker. A Denny Nagel, that's a cool looking shot. Mickey Morandini, Anderson, Moises Alou, and a Marquis Grissom. So, nothing special in that pack, but it, some of the cards look cool. It's Stadium Club. All right, we got Silver Collection 99, so some cool Peyton Manning, maybe, or a Hall of Fame autograph. Wow, the cards sure look cool, though. All right, Rob Moore. Got a Bruner Pop. Coleman, everything's backwards now. Hayden, Meyer, Salars, McDuffie. There's a Barry Sanders and a Rodney Hampton. So, he was still playing back then. He was still playing. There's a Barry Sanders. So, that is a cool looking card. But, you know, nothing nothing to, like, tell my parents about. Although, let's be honest, my parents wouldn't be impressed about cards anyway. Work done. Ooh, we got some kind of parallel. Be a Peyton Manning, man. Work done. More. 
Gannon, Curtis Martin, and it is numbered out of 400. Curtis Martin out of 400. So that is cool. And then we got a cool looking, look at this. It is a franchise best of Emmett Smith. So that is cool. Let's leave that up. And on top of that, we have a rookie card of Joe Germain, who I am not going to be honest, I'm not familiar with, but I will definitely top load the. Curtis Martin there. Put that in there and then top load the Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders. So two really good running backs. Some of these cards are just hard to get in the old. They just don't want to get in there. Alright, there we go. So we got some cool stuff there. We still got a ways to go, man. It's gonna be two videos. Four Shurskowitz. For sure, Skowitch. For sure, Kowski. Definitely. All right. Peter Shikori. I'm going to be honest. Other than the uh, the steel part here, the steel card, I haven't pulled anything else of note from this set whatsoever. So now will be the time, kids. You hear me? Eric Daze. Teamander. Backlands. And Turgeon. So yeah, that was uh, not the pack to make that one happen. Got to select 95, 35. These cards are super cool, but I, I don't think any of them are worth very much money. But here's a Sakic. Here's a rookie of Saku Koivu. Saku Koivu. A Jim Carrey and then a Ron Hextall. I'm going to sleeve up the old Saku Koivu rookie. Same year, I've had the same year was a Valerie Burry rookie also for the Canadians. So, not sure what my buddy uh, Saku Koivu goes for, but uh, he was the captain for my team for a while. I say my team, like, as if I ran the place. As if I ran the place, I would have run it into the ground. The old capster would have run it into the ground at best. And at worst, you don't even know. <laughs> the building probably would have... Uh... Anyway. <laughs> so that is a... Uh... Ragnarsson rookie, Todd Bertuzzi rookie, Scott Niedermeyer, Scott Niedermeyer, got a uh, Peter Sikora rookie, so we're hitting some rookies, Chris Chelios, I actually met Chris Chelios once, he was very nice, he was very nice, and then a Joey Juno, very nice, a lot of hockey players I find are very nice because they, uh, they end up having to travel a lot and stay with other families a lot um, at a young age, and so they tend to have like really good manners. And uh... all right, Stefan Fisset and a Danado. There's a Vincent Danfus, a McCabe, Sandstrom, Lefroning, Pavel Bure. And then a Andre Petronin, who I do not believe ended up doing anything um, monster, but I have been wrong many, many, many times before in the past. I have been wrong so often that uh, they could write entire books about my failures. They could write entire books about my failures. Jeff O'Neill, Mellonby, Deadmarsh. Sandstrom, we pulled that card in the last pack. Radic Bonk, I'll never forget a name like Radic Bonk. And we got a Chelios Hollow View. So I imagine like the Gretzky Lemieux Hollow View would probably be worth a bunch. The other ones, not so much. I think I pulled the Fedorov and it was worth like four or five bucks, maybe, I think. Hockey cards, it turns out, are not an easy sell a lot of the time. They are not an easy sell. All right. We actually have a couple more of these packs. Let's do it. Let's pull the Wayne Gretzky autograph, huh? Let's blow the doors off of this opening. Are you kidding me? If we pull that Wayne Gretzky autograph, the doors will be off. And nope. McGinley. Alexander McGinley. Uh, Canucks. I remember when he was with the... Uh, I remember when he was with the Sabres. There was one point when Pavel Bure, Sergei Fedorov, and Alexander McGinley were all in the same line in Russia. And... Keith Kitchen. So 
That is um, with the Phoenix Coyotes. Although it's funny because he's wearing Winnipeg Jets. He's still wearing the Winnipeg Jets um, uniform there. Anyway, um, ugh, Wayne Gretzky autograph. Why are you so elusive, man? Are right, we got a golf pack? Maybe there'll be some cool Tiger Woods action in here. Maybe. Um, we have a Mariyama. A Bobby, Fred Couples. A Mark O'Meara. And then a, what is this? Tiger's Tails. I'll have to look that up. Tiger's Tails just look like, looks like an insert, so. Looks like it's an insert. Might be worth a bunch, but I'll take a look. All right, what else we got? Uh, Flare Ultra Baseball 97th. What is that? Maybe David Ortiz? Possibly. Bartolo Colon? Maybe. There's Ricky Henderson with the Padres. With the Padres. Man, he got bounced around a lot, considering he was amazing. Like, the probably the best base sealer ever. Otero. What is this? That is a... All right, so we do have a... Damon Mishore, Gold Medallion Edition. That is a Knobloch and Cordoba, so I thought it was something that it wasn't. Uh, Martinez, Mark McGuire, when he was still with the A's. Miski, Hernandez, Musina. So, there's that. Um, got another Stars coming your way. God, we've been almost at it for an hour. We hit the hour mark, and then I'll make us another video. I got more packs, but I'm going to make another video. So we have a Jason Girdley... A D Brown, Rick Ank Heel, Corey Myers spotlight card, a Sean Green spotlight card, and a Corey Patterson spotlight card. So we're hunting in uh, upper deck here. There's like some super super rare Michael Jordan card that's worth like five or six hundred bucks. So let's hope that we can pull it. Obviously, it's a super 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 short print. Um, and of course all the cards in these packs are just like all over the place. So welcome to life. So Derek Bell Jamie Navarro, Electric Diamond, Kevin Young, Cam and Nitty. God, they just had weird, weird collation. Look at this, like every other card you gotta flip over. Harnish, Wegman, and then oh, got every card. It's like that. So Alan Bennis, and then a Tim Meyer. So that was a whole bunch of nothing. There was a whole bunch of flipping. And then um, it ended up going nowhere fast. All right. So we have uh, a debut of Lenny Ham. Got it to the Pokey Reese. I pulled that, this one in a previous opening. That is a Southern Fielder. A Billy Wagner looking really just like pissed off, man. Like, don't mess with me, man. A flower, Joey Cora, Big Bone, alright, so not nothing special there, I got a couple more of these. So like I said, it's super, super hard to pull that Jordan, but if you pull it, wow, 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 alright. Got a Hancock. Got another Alan Venice. A Eric Anthony. Will Clark. I do wish these cards were not all over the place. Harper. If, can you imagine opening an entire box of this where you're just like flipping every card? Every card you're flipping. Ruben Sierra. Scott Service. And. Tappany and Vince Bowman. So, again, tough set. Just like rough, 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 rough Toberfest kind of set. No one said it would be easy, but I never knew it would be this difficult, right? If you know what I'm saying, 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 dismaying. He looks bored there. There's a Vince Coleman. Got a Mickey Mantle insert. Larry Walker getting the eye black there. It's a cool looking Larry Walker. It's got service. And Mattingly, Electric Diamond. Kevin Young, I pulled that card like four times, I feel like. 
And an A-Rod. There is an A-Rod. So that's a, is that a prospect card? Is that a rookie or a prospect? All right, we're going to put that in a top loader and top load that bad boy. What did, I would trade it in a heartbeat for the, uh, I would trade it in a heartbeat for the Jordan. That's for sure. I traded in a heartbeat for the Jordan. All right, this is going to be the last pack, and I'll take another video that has uh, all the other stuff. So there is a wave. Oh, <gasps> no way. Look at that. Jeter Prospect card. That is nice. Look at that. That is really cool. Jeter Prospect card. Still, I'd rather have the Jordan, but I mean, Jeter. Mm. So we do have a Juan Gonzalez Harnish. Ah, more backwards stuff. John Smiley there. Bell, Daryl Kyle. Walt Weiss. And a, yeah. So that'll uh, do it for the old opening of Ruski. Thanks for being here. As you can see, we pulled some cool stuff. Uh, I'll do a recap at some other point. I don't feel like it right now. But thanks for being here. Bye.